In this lab, take an uh, investigation on the vulnerabilities of Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Then, lower Windows Server security settings for future labs. Some of our vulnerabilities, they are caused by the components of the operating system. Then we call the, the operating system vulnerability. But most of them are caused by the applications installed on these operating systems, especially some programs, they are cross-platform, can be installed on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, even as on smartphone. They may have a vulnerability to cause if you install them, then your system can be exploited. And we focus on uh, operating system vulnerabilities, which means the vulnerability in the components of those operating systems. So we have two tasks in this lab. Here are the steps. Step 1, step 2, you can consider this task 1, task 2, and a review question. Also we have an optional uh, entertainment this is the title of a movie called The Heist of the Century. Uh, it's, about a, a, it's a story about robbing a bank. I don't know how many of you have watched this movie. So you may watch this movie and uh, try to identify and describe the robbing steps similar to a typical cyber attack here. Or the steps or a typical cyber attack. You can open this uh, reference for descriptions about these steps, seven steps or a cyber attack and what you can do to protect your Windows privileged account. Here you can see the steps described here. Reconnaissance, scanning, access and escalation, Exfiltration, sustainment, assault, obfuscation. These are the typical seven steps in a cyber attack. You can find the similar steps in the movie. In this movie, it's optional, so you, you can watch by yourself. So now let's uh, start from task one. Here, please pay attention. These are the rubrics. For each item, you need to share a screenshot. To prove you have completed this part. Without, you just type this name. It does not mean you complete this uh, task. So in this uh, first task, uh, we will learn a CVE investigation. Open the official website, find a one ten score vulnerability for each of uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. How do you find them? You can choose product search on the left panel on this official website. Type in Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac OS respectively, then for each uh, one really they gather the information, the following information, 2% of each. You can create a table in your word. You have two columns. The first column, you put this inside. And the second column, you put the contents about each uh, item. For example, the vulnerability type, products affected, and so on. Now let's uh, I'm sure one example here, the CVE details. You, you can type uh, product search and say this operating system, uh, Windows. Here it has uh, 82 vulnerabilities listed here. Now you find a score let's say CS, CVSS score descending so you'll find us here are so many uh, 10 points 
score vulnerability. So just choose one you, you like. But you can see actually most of them are caused by applications. For example, this one is caused by Adobe Reader and uh, Acrobat. Right? So you just choose one you, you like. Now you may need to uh, pay attention to the headline. We have CVEID, CWEID, we have discussed all this stuff in the lecture. Here, gain the access level, see, none, so none, and uh, access remote, 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 and uh, all remote. Complexity, authentication, and so on. So now let's uh, choose one. For example, let's uh, choose this one. Exit code overflow. You can choose any one you want. So let's say we choose this one. And uh, you please pay attention is access is remote. So when you fill this uh, table, you create a table for this stuff. One of the type. Here, this is a vulnerability type. Is this one? Right? I chose this one. Exit code overflow. So this is the vulnerability type. And the products affected. Here, you come to the CVE description. The product affected. You can see here, products affected by this uh, CVE. So you can put all this stuff into your table. But you, here we only need to uh, focus on Windows. Then impact on the CIA model, the confidentiality, integrity, and availability. You find them from here. Confidentiality impact here. This is the impact is complete. What does it mean? It means there is total information disclosure resulting in all system files being revealed. And the integrity impact complete, availability impact complete. So you put this, uh, those complete to this uh, part, they are all complete. Now the exploitation whether there are meta exploit module available or access complexity authentication required or not, again, the access. So for this uh, last three, you find that in this head part, access complexity low, authentication not required, gain the access, none. So these are the uh, S3 can access. Now, this uh, meta exploit module availability. Can scroll down to see uh, here. Meta exploit modules here. There are not any meta exploit modules related to this CV entry. So just say uh, no. For this one, not available. Now, is this vulnerability fixed? Are there any updates and uh, patches here? Certainly, you can see it's uh, 2014. It's uh, quite old. So now you need to find the patches. Where could we find it? The updates. Here we didn't see any updates here. So how could we find it? A quick way, just as Google, copy this uh, CVE code, right click, you say uh, patches or updates. So first you can try patches, and you can just find, try to find this here, updates, security updates available for that one from its official website. Uh, you can find this one. Updates available. And that CVE 
2014 A449. Right? If you can find it here. 2014 A449 here. So here is a summary. You can put this in the updates, the solution. How do you uh, fix this uh, vulnerability? You can put this stuff. Please read a clause, this web page, and a summary the patches and updates by use, using your own language. So this is about the fix or update or patch. So this is how you answer the question. Now, we just finished one for Windows actually is caused by Acrobat. Right, caused by Acrobat and Acrobat Reader. This question, you have three parts. We just finished for the Windows parts. Then for the Linux, you do the same thing. For Mac OS, you do the same thing. Close this uh, tabs to the right. Now you can come back, try that search, try product, uh, or search, product search, operating system. You type Linux. Then here you can see there are many uh, distributions of Linux. So just click this. Uh, this is a for Oracle from Oracle. You can choose a one with a many vulnerabilities. This one the most. Right. Then again, CV number. Uh, this score descending. Find this uh, score turn. So you can choose a type. It's better to choose a different type because our Windows type is execute. Uh, active code. So here you can choose overflow or DOS. So this is for for Linux. Now for Mac OS, you can do the same thing. Oh, I think it's a mistake. Mac. So how do we type this uh, Mac OS? You can try window. Apple. Then you try to find a uh, one from Apple uh, operating systems. I never use the Apple, so we can uh, Google to see what the Apple uh, here Mac OS, Mac OS X. Uh, you can choose one. Then. CVSS score descending. It also mean a ten point zero. So you choose one and complete all this part. So this is a uh, task one. Now let's uh, do task two. For task two, you can follow this uh, lab from Sam's class. The task two in Sam's class. Yeah, Sam's class. It uses Windows 2016. The steps are similar. It can be applied in in the latest uh, Windows Server 2019. We are using currently. Here's how to install it. Scroll down. After the installation, come to Task Two. Scroll down. Task Two. Loading security settings. So we can come back to demonstrate how to complete this uh, task. We have one more. This one is not uh, demonstrated in that uh, Sam's class. So I add a link for you. You can right click open this link to see how to uninstall Windows Defender using PowerShell script here. The first one blocking automatic updates. Search PowerScript, find this PowerShell. 
you may not have PowerShell Server, you use this one, Windows PowerShell, right click, run as administrator. To block automatic update, we use uh, server configure, S configure. Press enter, so you can see the options supplied by this uh, configuration program, right? Server configuration. To disable uh, updates, you choose a file. If you choose a file, then you have three options. A, automatic, D, download only, M, manual updates. So we choose M, manual updates, which means the, the automatic uh, will be disabled. So we choose M, and you already see I disabled it, so it's a manual. M, set updates to manual. You will see Windows updates set to manual. System will never check for updates. As you already see, those vulnerability they can be fixed with updates. So that's why we need to disable updates to demonstrate or to practice uh, SQL hacking. Okay, now the automatic updates is disabled. We exit the command line, choose 15. For those strings from IDS uh, 1 C file, you should know this uh, command as config because you have practiced this one to install uh, Windows Server Core. Alright, this one is done. Now the next one, disable IE enhancement, enhanced security configuration. We have disabled this one in our first class, in our first lab. You run the server manager. Run the server manager and uh, choose local server. Here you can see an uh, overview about this configuration, i.e. enhanced security configuration currently is on. So you can turn it off, just click it, then turn off. Click OK. You refresh it. So you need to, after you complete, you need to show this result. This one is off. Firewall, turn off. Is this step. Turn off firewall. So click this one. Turn off. Come back. Here, this one turn off. Turn off all the protection by the firewall. Public network, turn off. Okay, you need to show all this uh, network or turn off the firewall on this uh, the protection from the firewall or turn off for all this uh, network. The main network, private network, public network, just three of them. Okay, now the firewall is turned off. You will refresh again. You see it's off. Then I install Windows Defender. You use the commands or you check this uh, link. Here, scroll down, you can see the commands you can use to uninstall. The Windows Defender, uninstall Windows feature, Windows Defender. Uh, you will see this uh, collecting data and so on.
You need a vitamin 91%. You must restore this uh, server to finish the removal process. So you can type shut down, reset, and time zero, reset right now. Okay, now Windows Defender is removed. Come back to our lab. Load in DEP settings. This one, except three. All others are described in the SAMS class. So for this uh, loading DEP settings, can from here type environment, edit the system environment available. On this part, choose advanced, advanced, and uh, find uh, performance settings, data execution prevention means DEP. Yeah, let turn turn on DP for essential Windows programs and service only, which means we lower we lower the security level. By default, this protection is uh, applied on all programs and services. I click apply. We need to restart again. Yeah, okay. So you, you, after you, you restart your server, it will take effect, which means that uh, DEP protection will be lowered for only essential system programs and services. You can restart by yourself. Now we go to uh, task three, review questions. Here, five percent for each of this stuff. On our first lab, did we install the Python? Check first lab. Here this is uh, for Ubuntu, for that uh, Windows server. I want to see whether we installed Python or not. If not, we need to install Python. Install Ubuntu, install Windows Server. Here on Windows Server, we didn't install any applications here in the first uh, lab. So you may download and install Python. You just Google Python. Here, come to its official website. Download, download this latest one, Python 3.9.1, and install it. I think I installed Python. Oops, I didn't. Here, see the Python. So I didn't install Python, so we can download and install it. Okay, I just saved here. Install, uh, choose a customize installation. Install for all users. Install all this stuff. Here, 
add Python to the environment variables install for all users. Okay, now it looks good. Install it. Python can be used as a convenient uh, calculator. That's why I install Python first. Here you scroll down. We can use Python to solve task 3. Given this vulnerability, show the process of finding its matrix below. Here, find these four matrix. Each uh, matrix is 5%. So we open this one and open this uh, scoring system. We discussed how to calculate in the lecture and I also made a demonstration. So let's uh, do it together. Okay, it's done. Uh, change your machine configuration to allow programs, including Python, to bypass this uh, 260 character max pass limitation. So let's uh, do it. Close it. Okay, now we can run that Python. You type Python, right? It pops up. So we can use this uh, Python interactive environment as an advanced calculator to find the matrix for this uh, vulnerability to see whether we can get this score 9.3. So this other stuff we need to find it. Exploitability impact, CVSS score and CVSS uh, vector. The base mat matrix here, the excess vector, excess vector, AV, you can just type AV here, equals, now you see for this uh, one, you, you can check these values, these scores on the right side. Here's excess vector, right? Now you check this part. The excess complexity is a medium. So medium, you check this table. So excess complexity, uh, complexity is here. The excess vector AV. So that AV is vulnerability can be exploited. So for this uh, AV, will not show up he here, excess vector. So we can go from uh, excess uh, com complexity, but this one, so this uh, excess vector, where do we uh, access the vulnerability? From network or local or adjacent network? We can check from here. This uh, vulnerability, we need to see we access uh, from re remote or, or where. We can read this part. I think it's uh, from uh, network, which means uh, it's remote, but we need to find description okay let's copy this one copy this uh, number CVID can you see and uh, right click open your new tab then we search it from here. Oh, 
Oops, we come back to here again. We need to find whether it's a uh, remote or not. We can use Ctrl F, remote. No, we, we find a remote here. Allows remote the server to execute arbitrary code on a client machine. By replaying this uh, stuff. Right, so we think this is uh, from a uh, remote from the network. So this uh, AV from network, you don't need to see it in front of the victim machine. From network is 1.0, AV equals 1.0. Now access complexity, AC here, come back to this uh, vulnerability. Access compa complexity is medium. So I check this part. Access complexity medium is a score is a 0 0.61. 0 0.61. Then the authentication here authentication you can check the authentication authentication not required so authentication not required so it's this one it's a score is a 0 0.704 and it's called AO AO equals 0 0.704 Now, these three are the base metrics. Now let's uh, find this uh, impact metrics. In this uh, vulnerability, the confidentiality impact complete, integrity impact complete, availability impact complete, the CIA all completed. They're all completely uh, broken. So for this C, confidentiality, if it's uh, completely broken, so we get this score, 0 0.660. For the next one, integrity complete, completely, oops, the integrity completely uh, broken. So again, we get the same score, 0 0.660. Availability completely broken. We use A availability 0 0.660. So now we are going to uh, calculate this stuff exploitability, exploitability here, impact here, and uh, the CVSS score is this uh, base score. So we can use this formula to do the calculation. For example, the first one, exploitability equals 20 times access vector is AV, then times uh, attack complexity is AC, times authentication is AU. Right. By the end, uh, you to find its value, you type exploitability. We get this value. So this is exploitability. Now for the impact. The impact equals ten point four one times. Now we have a long formula, 1 minus, here we have 3, this CIA component, right? 3 parentheses, the first one is 1 minus, the confidentiality impact is that C, and this uh, integrity impact is 1 minus I, 
and the last one is one minus authentication uh, authenticity impact one minus oh not one is availability availability impact one minus a so there's an impact you can see the value is ten point zero 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 so now the the f impact if this impact is zero then zero otherwise it's a one point one seven six so this f impact f i let's say it f i it x 1.176 now to find the base score you create a cvs as a score or base score or you use bs now round to one decimal before we run to, to one decimal let's do this uh, calculation inside this formula here it uh, use this one times that f impact f i and inside the parentheses, we have uh, three components: this parentheses plus another parentheses, then minus one point five. So in the first parentheses, is a zero point six times the impact, and in this one is a zero point four. Times exploitability. So now we can find a CVSSS. It's nine point three three something. Round up to one digit or one decimal digit, it would be nine point three. Right, nine point three. You check this score is nine point three. So we get this uh, CVSS score. This score it use this uh, base score, the version two as we discussed, version two, CVSS. For improvement, you can use version uh, three. So you scroll down, you can find version three and other uh, metrics. For example, environmental metrics and temporal metrics. For that version 3, you can see the version 3 here. But you see this one is using a version version 2. So we still have one CVSS vector. This CVSS vector is from this part here. You can find an example. This is environment uh, vector, so that is CVSS vector. We need to go up to find why, what is the description. This is a temporal vector. Here, the vector for the base score. So this is a vector. So the vector you can write by yourself, right? Here, access a vector from network. Then you write it like this on the network. Access complexity is a medium, so you need to change this L to M. Authentication none, so it's a AUN. And for the impact on the CIA, they're all complete. So you need to C column complete is a C, right? Here, complete they're all C. A column C, I column C. So this is how do you find this uh, CVSS vector. We know confidentiality, integrity, availability, the impact, they're all complete here. Complete, complete, complete. So the answer would be, you based on this, access uh, complexity is uh, medium, so we can uh, write the answer here the vector let's just call it a v it would equals here a v from network then you will separate with a forward slash ac access 
complexity is a medium. Right? You need to based on this uh, vulnerability. Excess complexity medium. And uh, authentication AO, oops, we need to separate with a forward slash. AO is none. And uh, then the confidentiality is complete. The integrity is complete. The availability is complete. So this uh, CVSS vector for this uh, last item. <coughs>